Welcome to our EOC and test prep series, math family. In today's video, we're writing the equation of a line that passes through specific points. So there's a few things we need to know. One, it needs to take the form of y is equal to mx plus b. And the first thing we need to do is figure out what exactly is the slope. So we have to use that formula, m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So we have seven minus four on top, all over three minus seven. So my slope is equal to three over negative four. Now that we have the slope family, mind you, this problem did not say anything about perpendicular or parallel slopes. So the equation of our line, the slope is going to be what we have here. So that means answer choice D and A are gone. Now for us to complete this problem, point slope formula, Y minus Y1 is equal to what? m times x minus x1. We could use any of these two points. I'm going to use this first one. So let's switch back to black. Once I go in now and I properly substitute, we have y minus 7 is equal to our slope, negative 3 over 4, times x minus the x value, which is 3. Now, this is where students make mistake. Just remember, that's going to be positive when we multiply. So y minus seven stays the same, equal to negative three over four x plus nine over four. Now family, we're almost done with this problem. Last thing we need to do is just combine our like terms. So I add seven here, add seven on the other side, and this is the second part of this problem. So just remember that seven, if we wanna have a denominator of four, we could switch this to 28 over four. Once we divide, it's the same value of seven. So now I clean this up and what are we gonna have? We have y is equal to negative three over four x. And after we add nine and 28, we're gonna get 37 over four. We don't add or do anything to our denominator. So when we look at our answer choices, our answer choice should be B. We really hope that this test review was helpful for you, family, right? Quick review for you. Please like it if it was helpful for us. Comment down below, subscribe to our channel, and also know we're gonna be adding geometry, EOC, SAT, and also ACT problems in this EOC prep series. Really hope it's helpful for you guys and good luck on all your EOCs and final exams. Thank you for joining us today.